good evening, everybody. Welcome to our hockey TV broadcast. Paul Bradley here tonight at the Canmore Rec Center. And we welcome you all, hockey fans, as the hometown Eagles take on the visiting Okotoks Oilers for a Friday night matchup here at the Canmore Rec Center. Special hello there to my sidekick, Russ Allut. Allut, he is on vacation, as we say in the biz. So I'll be flying solo tonight. Should be a good game. Both teams are riding winning streaks, and we'll get more into details as the game carries on. We're just tuning in and not a regular viewer of Eagles hockey. They're in the double blue with white trim. And the Okotoks Oilers, the visitors, in their standard white, green, and gold. And the Oilers dump it out to center. And after it is Chin for Canmore in his own zone. We'll get things settled in and get the starting goalies for you. Drake Gardner now flipping up the left boards. Loose in front, shot, save, me. Another chance. Great opportunities there, but Caden Kilpatrick standing tall here in the first minute and keeping the score nil-nil is a good start for Okotoks. And they've been riding an eight-game winning streak, as we mentioned. Coming in high, the Eagles are on a three-game the shots and the chances that happened on Friday night at the in Brooks well yeah chances galore not necessarily a huge amount of shots but chances wide open chances speaking of open scored in front of the net wide open and uncovered with Zach Carlson and he tips it in and it's two to one Eagles 21 seconds in and quite the breakdown by Brooks there Last rush up to center is huge. In for McIsaac, Schaefer picked it off the chin. Penalty over. Back on the ice is Kale Lyons, and he goes right to the box. So the Eagles are 0 for 2 on the power play, and the Bandits are 1 for 2, and we're 2 to 1 in favor of the Eagles on a pair of even strength goals. That was a kind of a giveaway. Chin is able to get it back, makes a nice nifty move, and breaks out three on three to center. Here's Chin. Chin tried to flip it in now. He was looking for Schaefer. Schaefer after it. Connor Lyons chases in it. Spafford has it. Here's Spafford trying to circle past his man. Getting in his Lyons. Here's Kill Lyons. Connor Lyons in the back end. He scores! Connor Lyons! His 30th of the season. It's 3-1 Eagles. Great job and puck uh, presence. They were... After out of town scoreboard. Just three games tonight, including ours. One game tomorrow. Game six of the Spruce Grove Grand Prairie season will Another take place. pesky team. <laughs> Grand Prairie are. They've been giving the Saints fits. They gave them a triple overtime last game. All right, so we got the puck inside the Eagle zone. Kodiak's trying to penetrate, but here comes Gardner. He's got the goal for the Eagles to Spafford, who has the assist. At least one of the two. Gardner getting on it. Trying to get center out of it. Front. And the Kodiaks have it. Taking a hit along the boards as Gardner took his man out of the play. Kind of gets tangled up inside the zone. The Kodiaks will move back. Getting into it with uh, Gardner was Condor. Now back inside the Eagle zone to the right of the killer. They centered in front. Backhand shot. Letting it go there was Fraser who's got a goal. His second of the playoffs. Behind the net is Welke. Carson Welke. He's dipsy doodling in behind. Trying to get free of his man Gardner who's at the end of a long shift. Gardner kind of grabbed him. Got away with it. And he'll want to get off. He's been out there over a minute. Back come the Eagles to Schaefer. Schaefer on that right side. Shooting, rising shot over top. Now in the corner for Reith. He's banged out of the play by the big defenseman, Davis. Schaefer carries on in front with a shot there. Was Watson. Come back to Chin with a face mask. Chin flips it into the corner to Reith. Reith falls down. Took his man down. Accidentally. Another loose to that puck is Jerasek who walked in. Let a shot go low. Covered. By Bowerman. Well, Bowerman wasn't sure he made the save there, but uh, it uh, just squeezed it to the ice under his uh, left pad. Of course, we also thought uh, the Eagles should have had a late power play in that uh, first period as well when uh, Mitchell Watson in front of the net, and Bowerman gave the puck up and put it right in the uh, top of the crease area. Watson reaching for it was hooked on the hands and went to the ice. There was no call. So. And yeah, that was Watson had the opportunity taken away from him. 
you got to fight through it. Sometimes the calls go your way and sometimes they don't. You will have to redo this face-off to the right. Griffin Bauer inside the Kodiak zone. And the young line is back out. They took a minute for breast. Young's waved out. Lines to take this face-off. It's going to go up against Carson Welke. And the puck is down, and it's a clean win by the Kodiaks. Welke. Slowly out to center. On that right side now is Zimmer. He's dangerous. Zimmer moving. Shooting. Save made by... Kilpatrick, and he'll cover up. No rebound, and that's key. Don't let these big guns get a second opportunity, Russ. Kilpatrick, giving the uh, Eagles the goaltending they need here in this uh, game six. That's his uh, 11th save of the hockey game. Matching uh, Bowerman here. Which just has to be, uh, what? One goal better than the goal. Yes, that's right. Had. And this is the best he's looked since he took over in the series. Don't forget, Debbie Chapman was the starting goalie to start this first round series. And I think the, it really goes, if we don't see Devin Chapman the rest of this series, that's good news for the Cattle Eagles. Well, even Devin would probably admit <laughs> it because not, that means not they're that, Not that I mean anything no. against Devin. No, I no, just no. mean the fact that the Eagles are winning. That's right. So they don't have to worry about the goaltending situation. And, of course, Devin, he was put in a difficult position. He came in as, as sort of the backup goaltender this year. He was supposed to learn. And... Uh, He's been uh, th thrown into a, a strong learning curve over the course of the season, especially with a with a younger team on defense. That's right. Here's your second front for Sterling. Long shot by Chin, St. made. Love to see Bowman. And we'll certainly see uh, Chapman again next season. Well, Devin, you know, Challenge to his credit, he took the job. I mean, he was the starting goalie at the start of the playoff. So he, he fought through and he became the number one goalie. I'll well, say 1A and 1B, because it's not it hasn't been clear-cut all season. Right. Yep. And But... It, but they got to him a little bit in game three, penetrated him, and, and it's, it's Kilpatrick's to run with now. Look, it's down. Kincaid, the big defenseman, he's going to lug it out. Hits the center ice area, and he'll flip it in. Kilpatrick kind of went off his stick. This time he puts it into the corner. Here it is McCannum. McCannum tried to put it back to the point, but it's picked off now. And this will go for icing, unfortunately, because uh, the great Kazoo was the first one there. But to no avail, icing is the call. That's sure. that no-touch icing for you. Well, next year <laughs> it will be. Next year will be the, uh, they'll have the uh, hybrid. NHL rule, yeah, hybrid right. icing. And that would not have been an icing. Exactly. If Kazoo's turn of speed there and trying to get to the puck would have meant the Eagles would have been on the attack in the, in the Kodiak zone. I love the hybrid icing rule. I was, you know... The old-fashioned way, too many injuries. So you have to have a t uh, no touch ice. But, you know, if you got the, the opposing team racing in first, let them go. That's what you want. Creativity, offensive scoring opportunities. There's my two cents worth right there. Soapbox. We get a soapbox every time we're on the air, Russ. Well, we, we actually <laughs> had one person tweet in that he thinks we should do a bit of a podcast here. So oh, that, maybe. Uh, maybe we, we'll do we it. We can give him more of our opinions. <laughs> oh, we could we ever. <laughs> And the puck is down inside that eagle zone. Now it's back out to center. We've played four minutes and 30 seconds here in the middle frame, and we're still knotted at one on a couple of first period goals. We, Don't forget, folks, the Eagles need this one tonight. Because Richards is trying to figure out how we can get paid for doing this yet, so. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we can make a business out of it. <laughs> well, 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 it's something to think about. Let's mull it over, Russ. Here's Alex Young. Young in his own zone, he kind of lost control, getting over to Bowman. Bowman now is going to try the other boards. The big line is out there again. They're kind of going every second shift with the big boys, trying to create some momentum. Here's Carlson spinning back. Well, when big it's, when it's on the, the one line that's sort of uh, creating the offense, you got to throw them out as often as you can. you got to do see. what you got to do in a do-or-die situation. Lions to Young. He's one on three here, but with Alex, you never know. He'll spin it back Gretzky style, but it's picked off. Back on the Kodiak, three across the line, three on two. Look for the trailer. Moving in, shooting, scores! Timmerman is first of the playoffs on a breakdown inside the neutral zone, and they come in three on two and cash in. It's 2-1 visitors. Yeah, the Eagles got caught. Uh, they were figured Alex Young was going to magically make a pass there as he got inside the line, and they all went to the attack. And Gal pinched him against the boards, and the Kodiaks break out. The other way, and the trailer, Timmerman, uh, he was uh, 
waiting for the puck to come to him and slid it along the ice. Gets his first goal of the playoffs as he slides it under the pad of uh, Kilpatrick as he came out to try and make that save. 2-1, Camrose, and uh, we're five minutes and 25 seconds into the second period. So as Russ had mentioned, Timmerman, his first goal, third point of this series, and we're in game six. If you're just joining us, glad to have you on board here on Hockey TV. Paul Bradley and Russ Olyat here at the Canmore Rec Center. Three games to two, the Kodiaks lead, and they lead today 2-1, to one, trying to wrap it up. But the Eagles got a lot of time left. They will push again. Let me tell you, across the line is Laskowski, and it's offside at the Eagles line. Well, now that they've got the bit between the teeth here, I think the Kodiaks are trying those little stretch passes, maybe trying to get in behind Canmore here. Uh, after uh, knowing the Eagles down a goal in the second period, they're going to try and uh, push it a little bit uh, offensively. Laskowski uh, just a little too quick on that uh, rush. Brockoff and Davis, the two defensemen getting the assist. So Brendan Davis, who's kind of more of a stay-at-home, log a lot of minutes kind of guy, has two assists tonight. It's that secondary scoring that they've really been effective at getting involved in. So he's doubled his points in the series. Two to four, and that's a save, easy save. But again, the rebound is always a factor. The rebound coverage from Bowerman has been very good this series. He did give up a couple in that first period, but the Eagles were unable to pounce on it in a manner that would allow for a legal goal anyways. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> because the high stick. Uh, well, the Eagles have a, a couple goals called back this series. But they'll press on here. Gardner, the goal scorer, his shot is blocked. Mitchell Watson, the big right winger, he's trying to move it in. Now it's back out to center. And flipped in there by... Carson Welke. He's out there with his brother, Mackenzie Welke. But the Eagles get it now with Big Jurisic. Jurisic across the line. It's a hit check. Carries on as Reese Becker stepped into him. Check that. That was Davis. Davis is still out there. Now here's Sterling spinning. Sterling dropped back to the point of kill. Lions kept it oh, in. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just outside the line. Kill Lions couldn't do it. Welkies wants to rub it in a little more as if he needed that. Well, it looks like he kept it in from my angle here. But we're not. And for the Eagles, I like the game. I really thought that uh, the great Kazoo, Kazoo Prevost, had himself a really good game. And he got that nice goal to get him going. So... Kaiser Prevost and Jack Works, the players of the game tonight here in Canmore Rec Center. 4 3 2 1, Sterling, one last chance. No, not going to get it away. This hockey game's in the books. And once again, the Oilers are 4 0 on the season. They pound the Eagles into submission, unfortunately, again tonight. The final score Okadoke 6, Canmore 2. Shots on goal in the third period. Reed, Canmore 16 for a three period total of 34. The Oilers 6. For a three period total of 41. That's all tonight. Thanks for watching. We'll be back in action February the 4th. Paul Bradley saying so long on the Eagles Radio Network Hockey TV. Thanks for watching and good night.